Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidstein. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado and welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I want to talk about presenting our photographs because it's so important in a, in a world where people share a photograph for five seconds on Facebook and they never see it again that we print our photographs and display our photographs. You can find frames at yard sales and garage sales. You can find frames at thrift stores for virtually no money, especially at the yard sales because they just want to clear out a whole box of them. In fact, I bet if you offer somebody a whole box of frames that are marked individually a dollar each and there's 20 frames in there, I bet you get the whole box for 10 bucks because they'd rather see it all go at once and not have to carry it back inside. If you're at their yard sale late in the day, I bet you could get it all for five bucks. And those are frames that can hold moments of, of memories in your home. And look at the drift stores. Look for oddball things. This is a black, it looks like leather to me, and it was in with the picture frames and the picture albums. And I was like, what is that thing? And it has this weird extra flap. And I found out it was a, uh, it opens like this and it stands up. And then you could put a photograph in here. And I was like, look at that. It's like a really nice, I like the way that they're, the pages are, are made. And, and there's a whole bunch of them. And this looks like a display of some type that I can use to easily display a lot of my work and have people flip through it. And they were $1.99 at the thrift store. So this is one of those finds that if you see something that looks like really good quality, but you're not sure what it is, check it out because I ended up with two of these for virtually no money. And the way we display our work, if you were to go buy that at a portfolio store, you would spend a lot of money on that. And sometimes, you know, you don't even know you're in the market for something like that. And then you find it and you realize that could really work well for your presentation of your work to show people. And it gives them a reason to see, you know, a dozen or two dozen photographs in a presentation folder as opposed to one photo going by on a screen. It puts them in front of you. You could even carry that to a coffee shop with you and have that next to you and be flipping through it and start up a conversation with somebody and they'd say, what, what are those? And you could show them and you could literally build new customers out of the people that you interact with and meet every day. But the ability to present our work in, in prints and to show what they can look like and then to be photographers who can actually sell ourselves as photographers and then we can even offer prints for those photographs so that our work exists for those people, there's a great, great value in that. And I said, there's a lot of times when I'll be like, I was at a, a pub in outside of Boulder in Louisville, Colorado. And there was an older couple there and they were sitting together at the bar and I was sitting at the bar and I was writing and I had my Leica next to me and they noticed the Leica. And they said, we used to be pro photographers, we saw your Leica. So we started talking and that's again another great introduction. Carry your camera and leave it on the bar next to you when you're sitting alone. So then they asked, you know, well, what do I shoot? And I told them and then I asked them if I could take their picture. And I did. And then a couple weeks later, I processed that film and it looked like a really nice portrait of the two of them. There was nice light from outside coming into that area of the bar when I photographed them. And I made up a print and I went to a thrift store and I got a dollar brown frame for this black and white photograph. And it cost me all of a dollar and change to make this thing up. And the next time I was in that pub, I remembered them saying that their daughter has been working there since this place opened. So I went back another time to write and when I was sitting there, I asked the waitress, I said, do you know whose parents these are? And they said, oh yeah. And I said, well, would you give it to them? There was nothing due, there was nothing in return other than giving them the joy of having a photograph of them together, enjoying an afternoon out, sitting at the pub, sitting next to me, photographed with an old Leica. And, you know, the cost to create that, it was so low. And the joy that it brought them, I found out later from the waitress who did, whose parents it was, and they said that they just loved that. And those aren't expensive 
moments to create and, and expensive you know, pieces of work to give away sometimes. I'm not a fan of giving away work and working for free, but if you do it from your side because you choose to do it, if you do it as a, a way to connect to somebody because you connected in a moment, wanted to make a photograph and you give it to them, I see nothing wrong with that because that's just being gracious and honoring the fact that you had this moment together and you captured a little bit of it. So I'll put a do I have a link of them? I don't know I'm sure if I have a picture of them, if I know where that negative is right now. If I have it, I'll put it in the comments below, but in any case, uh, look for picture frames. The biggest point of this whole talk is picture frames. Framing, finding pictures that you can create and getting them presented into either photo albums, which are also a dime a dozen at the yard sales and thrift stores, or putting them into this kind of portfolio case that sometimes shows up. And show your work, show it off. Make it look great because that's so important that we are so much more, especially as film photographers, than uh, you know, sliding by on Facebook for five seconds. I bet some pictures don't even get seen for five seconds. That's a long time in the computer world. All right, that's today's talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button and I'll bring you some more. And I'd love to hear your comments below too. Thanks so much.